guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I am in Tampa for the holidays with my Finley bear and I'm so happy. Actually yesterday, two years ago yesterday is when we got this precious gem. So I am so thrilled to be home. I had a really nice morning to myself. I finished The Perfect Marriage and then, which is a book, and then I just started reading Winter in Paradise by Ellen Hildebrand. She's one of my favorite authors. So good. Also Perfect Marriage was nuts. Like I was not expecting an ending in the slightest at all. I like don't know how I feel about the book, honestly. But then I went for a really long walk with my mom and Finley, made some breakfast, sat by the fire. It's like chilly here in Tampa, actually, like in the 60s, but that's pretty chill. And there's just no sun out. Oh my God, he's being so cute. And then I got in the sauna, which is really awesome. Over the, like at the end of the summer, we got an infrared sauna at our house, which is insane. I'm so thankful. And um, I'm trying to be better about using it because it's literally here and my whole family uses it. So it really did feel so nice. And if you ever have an opportunity to get into a sauna or an infrared, anything, it has so many amazing benefits. And it was a really nice start to the day. Took a shower. I decided not to wash my hair. We just slicked it back. I'm just wearing a little workout set and um, this like brown zip up situation and put on some glow screen because I'm about to do a call with my accountant. Um, I think it's just like a little check-in situation. We do like quarterly check-ins. Um, oh my God, you're so cute. And then I'm actually headed to meet up with Sydney Adams who lives here in Tampa. It's so fun to have another Tampa friend here. And uh, I think we're gonna do a Pilates class later in the week or next week, but today, we're going for a walk. We're meeting at Armature Works, which is a super cool spot in Tampa. I haven't been to in a minute, so I was like, she thought of the idea. I love it. She was like, wanna go get coffee and walk around Armature Works? I was like, I love someone with a plan. So um, I'm gonna do that after my call. And my aunt lands in New York, in New York City, in Tampa today. So it always feels like Christmas when families start to come to town. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna do a week in my life. Today's Tuesday. I'm probably gonna vlog till like Friday and then do like another vlog this weekend. I thought I'd be really burnt out from Vlogmas, but honestly I wasn't. So here we go for another vlog. Let's get started with the day, my Finley, yay! Okay, so whenever I come home, I hate the lighting to do my makeup. So I got one of these like vanity lighting things um, because as you guys know at my apartment in New York, um, I think before it was like trending, um, on TikTok the last couple months it's been a thing, but I got my vanity before that. Or at least it wasn't on my TikTok for you page. So I just got so used to doing my makeup with like a nice vanity mirror like the one I have. So I did get the idea from Brooke and just some of my other friends who bought like little mini ones. I think because Alex Earl got it or something. So I don't know if this is the one that she has or any of my friends have. I just looked up on Amazon like, oh, I don't know my box cutters here. <laughs> but I'm excited because my bathroom here is like very yellow lighting and I like to film like get ready with me, stuff like that. So I was like, let me just buy one on Amazon and ship it to my house. So it came in last night. Hopefully this one's good. And if it is, I will link it below. Oh, it comes with a little magnifier one too. And I saw that there was like three different settings on the bottom. This looks good. Hopefully it, hopefully it's bright enough, huh? You ready to glam up, Finley? Okay, it is shut. It's scratched a little bit, but I just don't care enough. Like a little bit, but that could have been me literally just now. Let's go to the bathroom and try this out. Welcome to my bathroom. No clue why my mom insisted on this being like this red color. It's not great for putting on makeup. <laughs> Cause technically this is like, I don't have a shower in here. I actually shower in my mom's bathroom. This is technically the guest bathroom but it's next to my bedroom, so like it's my bathroom. Um, so she was like, I wanna make it inviting. All right. Oh, wow. This is everything and more. Highly recommend. More warm light. And then that. Wow, that is, what is the P for? This is so good. I mean, it's not big at all. It was already all put together. All I had to do was plug it in and the lighting is really good. So too, if I'm like filming a makeup segment in the vlog, the lighting is obviously 
way better. That's like the yellow one, but it's yellow in here, so yay. Okay, that's a success. I'll link it below. <laughs> Finley's literally just still here. Are you stuck? You can get up. Okay, here's the final look. I switched to a claw clip. Got my sunglasses on. We're doing a monochromatic moment. Brown zip up is Princess Polly. My favorite brown vest right now from NAKD. Lululemon leggings, my Air Forces, and just some socks. It looks like it's about to rain, so oh well. If not, we'll just get coffee and like sit. We don't have to go for a walk. But I'm so excited to see Sydney and catch up with her. Let's go. All right, guys, we're in my car with my dad. Tires low, check them. Start it up again. Just shut it off. We just um, filled up my tires because they were super low. And my dad drove it over so I could, he like stores my car at his house. And now I'm gonna drop him off and then I'm gonna drive to see Sydney. So I'm in my tire car. Pressure low. They must be... it, it takes a second to yeah, like, yeah, gotta... the tire pressure is good now. Yeah, we know that. Gonna blast music. I just got here. It's sprinkling, unfortunately, which kind of ruins our plans to get coffee and then walk around because it's really nice to walk along the water here. At least I'm assuming that's what she wanted to do. Um, but that's okay. Armature Works is super cute. So I'm going to go in. She's already here. Um, and we're just going to hang and drink coffee. And if it stops raining, then we'll go outside. We'll just see. But I'm just excited to catch up with her. I haven't been to Armature Works in a while. I was saying in one of my last vlogs, like I haven't, the last few times I've been to Tampa, I've been such a homebody and just like hung out in my house with my family and my dog because I just miss them so much. But I have been recently craving like the Tampa things. Where's my... So yeah, I'm gonna go inside now. I'm wearing sunglasses just because it's, you know, it's still bright. It's sunny, but it's bright. so happy so i just love that you live here out. yes really? oh my god we got in trouble yeah. for having a camera the second i whipped my camera out to say like i literally don't think i got one word out of my mouth and he came over no professional he sniped us he was ready for me he watched me approach you he knew <laughs> you're right that's probably what it was but we're here at armature works drinking buddy brew coffee i couldn't be happier i don't know why we don't get buddy brew cups but yeah, i okay. that's besides the point so happy tampa we're catching up back. tampa girl's back three hours later, just about, a little under three hours later. Getting in my car now, I had to extend the time on my parking. <laughs> um, it was, I just love her. We just, we were gonna go for a walk, but it was just kind of gross and rainy. I still have my thing on, oh well. She's just a special human being. If you guys don't follow Sydney, she lives in Tampa, so if you are craving some Tampa content, she does fitness, lifestyle, like honestly, I love all of her outfits, they're very, a leisure cool girl vibe i love her such a nice person inside and out like i don't know it's just nice she just gets it we talked about all kinds of things <sighs> and yeah now it's like almost five o'clock and i actually ended up after she left i was gonna go to fresh kitchen because i like love that place for like a lunch situation but it's about to be rush hour and I'm not trying to sit in it even though I can't wait to be in my car and I listen to music on the way here but I think on the way back I'm gonna listen to podcasts that's my vibe right now like on the way here is jamming and now I'm like chill but I was gonna go to fresh kitchen and I was like I don't want to so I just had a turkey sandwich there because it is like a food court after all basically so I was like let me eat here so I sat at the bar and ate alone um as I was like going to my car I was like let me just go back and eat here and yeah my Aunt Debbie's back at the house, or my dad's house, so I'll go see her. I like hate this weather though, it's not a vibe. It's rainy season. Anyways, let's drive and listen to a podcast. Guess where I've ended up? Can you tell by the palm trees? I'm upstairs Nordstrom, woo! I was sitting in the worst traffic. I put in the maps, it said an hour long drive. I was like, no, 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 hour long drive. And I do have some Christmas shopping to do and I realized that I want to do like a whole day and come to the International Mall and like bring my aunt because she's in town and like, you know, I want to have fun stuff for her to do. But I want to like get a couple things for her 
So I'm gonna go into the mall now and get those things so that when we go shopping, I'm not like stressed like to like hide and you know, whatever. Um, and this way I can also split up and get some of the stuff I know I wanna get now. I basically like shipped some things Christmas wise to my house, but a lot of things I, I wrote down what I wanted and I wanted to go get them in person because I just love Christmas shopping in person. I like love the rush. I love hearing the holiday music. I love going to the mall, like call me weird. I enjoy it. Um, so I called my mom because she said dinner's at seven and it's 5.30. I was like, Mom, so I can sit here in traffic or I can go to the mall while the traffic is happening during rush hour and then when the traffic is over, I can come back. So I just might be like a little late to dinner. And she was like, no problem. She just texted in our family group chat. This makes me sound so dramatic. 7.30ish, Danielle in a lot of traffic. Stopping at International to let it pass. <laughs> that makes it sound like the worst. She's stopping at International to let the traffic pass. It is true, that is what I'm doing, because it was just like so bad, and I was like thinking, I was like, should I just pull over and go to the mall? So that's what we're gonna do. I'm not mad about it. Um, so yeah, the goal is I have got nothing. I haven't gotten anything for my brother yet. Um, and I think I know what I'm going to get him, so that's good. And then my aunt, I actually got her something from Marc Jacobs. I got her a purse that she, I know she wanted because when she was in New York, we were shopping and she like almost bought it. So I was like, oh, that'll be easy. I'll get her that cute little, I love the Marc, Jac Marc Jacobs purses. But I want to get her like one other little thing. She loves Baccarat Rouge and I know there's like a candle. So I thought that could be kind of cute, like the Baccarat Rouge candle. Am I like doing something wrong? What is happening? My dad, I pretty much ordered all the things he wanted slash that I thought would be good for him. Oh my god, I'm going to go nuts. Ah, I can't. I... <sighs> I'm gonna put my vest on outside. Um, and then my mom a couple things. So, yeah, probably in my next vlog I'll do a what I'm giving for Christmas. Or maybe in this vlog while I'm wrapping. Who really knows? Let's go inside because I love them all. A sight for sore eyes. <laughs> Got one gift secured, baby. Got back from the mall a while ago and we just had dinner and all sat and chatted for like two hours. From Neiman's, I got my Aunt Debbie a Baccarat Rouge 540 candle. I think she's going to love it. It goes with the purse that I got her, which I guess I could show you guys. Actually, just kidding. It's in the wrap, and I don't really want to take it out. And then my mom loves, as well as I do, the Lositon almond collection, like all of it. Um, specifically the shower oil and then the supple spray. I will hit the supple skin oil. I literally repurchase this all the time. So I got her full size of those for her shower, which I think will be nice. So those are just the two things that I got today. Also got my grandpa this amazing, um, like, really cool quarter zip Georgia Bulldogs, but I just, I love, it's such a different, unique style. I feel like it's really thick, too. All right, I just self-tanned. I used the Isle of Paradise Dark Mousse, so hopefully I wake up glowing. <laughs> I'm just wearing some random PJs that I have here. I always call the clothes I have at my parents' house, like, the leftovers. Like, whatever I have here is so random. I used to love this shirt in college, though. Snuggle up with Finley. I'm really into this book, Winter in Paradise by Ellen Hildebrand. Apparently it's a trilogy. Very exciting, so I'm gonna read. Oh, also, I took these Highline Wellness Premium CBD Gummies with Melatonin. I was out like a little light last night. I've been having trouble like relaxing before bed and this really helped last night. So I took another like 30 minutes ago and I definitely can feel my nervous system like chilling out, so. I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Good morning, you guys. It's Wednesday. I've had a busy morning on my computer. All fun things. I uploaded a new vlog and I created an itinerary for our New Year's Eve trip on Canva. That was really fun. I made like, I always make itineraries, but I've actually never made one on Canva and I felt very professional. I just sent it to the group chat and everyone's like, oh my gosh, love. And I just ordered a ton of New Year's Eve decor, or like not decor, but you know, like the hats, the crowns, the napkins, paper plates, shot glasses, you know, stuff like that. Oh, you being so cute. Um, my tan came in pretty good. I feel pretty glowy. 
as long as Finley doesn't lick it all off. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna go for a hot girl walk. Maybe Finley will come, we shall see. I'm gonna listen to a podcast or music and just get some walking in, and then I found a 20 minute like Pilates YouTube workout that I'm gonna try and do or get in the sauna, but I feel like it's silly to get in the sauna after a fresh tan and I have something tonight. So yeah, and then I'm getting a blowout with my girl Andy at 12.15. She did my hair all growing up, like forever, and I even in college I tried to come back and do my coloring with her, but then it was just too much to always like wait till I went home to get my hair colored. So I was like, I just want an excuse to see her. I have an event tonight and I really want a blowout and my hair is getting kind of dull. So I think she's gonna do like a brightening treatment. So that's kind of the catch up here. Okay, it's time for a walk. Here's my little walk outfit, but I'm putting on a jacket because it's like in the 60s. So it's it's chilly here in Florida. Um, I just got these leggings because Sydney Adams inspired me. They're like the V Align leggings from Lululemon. I like them a lot. I keep feeling like I have to pull it up, but I guess it's supposed to show your belly button or maybe not. I don't know, but they're really cute. Very, very flattering. Finished my workout, took a body shower. Here's my outfit to go get a blowout. <laughs> it's so random, it's just comfy. Long sleeve is from Skims. It's linked below in my winter clothing staples shelf folder thing. Jeans, I think are also linked in that folder as well. They're from Good American, they're my favorite baggy jeans. And then I'm wearing my platform Uggs, Bottega bag. Hair is just slicked back. And I use Refi Brow Gel, which is the best, and some Sunday Riley CEO Glow. Gonna get like a brightening treatment of some sort and a blowout. Right, let's go. Yay! Blowout is done and I also got a Malibu Malibu blonde treatment, I think it's called. Um, it was so good to catch up with her. She was giving me all the all the things I need to know about the new fun spots in Tampa. I'm dying to go check out the Edition Hotel, but the reservations are like constantly full. But she was like, just go, put your name down, get a drink at the bar. It does. Ne it never takes as long as they tell you. Um, Cause they have like so many restaurants there. So really just happy my hair's done. I hate doing my hair and I'm happy it's just like a little bit brighter and everything. But I think I'm just gonna head home. I have some gifts to wrap. I feel like I should do that. And I'm honestly leaving in a couple hours because we're doing a 5.30 dinner. Um, we're doing 5.30 dinner with some of my friends from high school. And then we have our like, I don't even know if I told you guys this, but my high school rented out American Social, which is like a bar. And they're doing like an alumni event tonight. So we're all going to that, making a night out of it. I forgot if I said this already, so sorry. But I'm excited to see a ton of my friends. We've like all stayed really close. I went to a private school. So they are really good with alumni events and stuff like that. I just went to one in New York. But this is like the big Tampa one. And I didn't go last year. And apparently it was really, really fun. And I missed out. We're doing an early dinner because the thing's at seven so I only have a few hours and I want to like do my makeup I was watching Kellyanne's platform this morning trying to figure out a cool eyeshadow look to do and I need to figure out my outfits I want to be like conservative ish but still cute and I want to check in with like my aunt Debbie and my dad see what they're up to I don't know let's just go home just got back opening up some stuff I got in the mail for for uh, gifts for other people I'm so excited because I got my dad this travel ember mug he loves his ember mug at home and he goes to work and I think it would be so fun for him. I got him his ember mug last year and he was obsessed, or maybe even two years ago. So this one you can bring on the go and it stays, it keeps your coffee hot. And there was an option to monogram it on William Sonoma, but like, look what a terrible job they did. His initials are FJC. And like, this literally looks so bad and mortified. I thought this part came off, but it definitely 
does not. Or does it wait? My mom and I go for walks a lot in the morning and I have a pair of hokas here and she's always like, those look so comfortable. Like all of my mom friends have hokas and I was like, mm, great gift idea. She told me that during Thanksgiving. So I got her this beautiful blue pair because I feel like she wears a lot of blue and it still would go with a lot of things. It's it, This is like, I'm obsessed with these. I'm so excited to see her reaction. I think she's gonna be really excited that I even remembered her saying that. Oh my gosh, Salad and Fries Club with Aunt Debbie. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. Hello. <laughs> back from lunch with my aunt. Coming, I just came back now, about to start getting ready, but I'm packing a spend the night bag, if you will because um, we're gonna be out late and my friend offered me to stay at her house tonight and then, cause she lives nearby Oxford Exchange where we're going tomorrow for brunch. We're going to Oxford Exchange, my favorite place ever. And I was like, oh, that'd be so nice. I can just, you know, we'll Uber together tonight, be together all night and then we go back to her house, sleep and then I'll wake up and meet my family at Oxford Exchange. So I'm bringing that outfit too. Just kind of all makes sense. So I'm sad I'm not gonna get to sleep with Finley tonight, but it just makes sense and it's just the best situation, so. Okay, I just finished getting ready. I'm pretty proud of my eye makeup. And I got my hair done, but while I was doing my makeup, I was like, let me just put my hair in a roller to give some more volume. I think it looks pretty good. My outfit, I'm like not proud of it at all. I feel like it's boring, but also I'm not trying to like make a statement tonight. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just wearing one of my favorite dresses from the brand Not Yours to Keep. It's just a black, long um, midi. It's like a turtleneck. I have one linked in that winter clothing staples. This one's sold out, but there's a very similar one from Good American, I believe. So I have that one linked. This is not my favorite leather jacket ever, but it is from Zara. It's like years ago. It's just, I wish it was a little bit more like boxy rather than like on my body. But that was the, the style back then. <laughs> back then I got this like, I don't know, five years ago. Um, but it's like a little chilly, so I was like, okay, I'll wear this leather jacket. It's from Zara. I had it here. I wish I had, like, one of my bright color bags. It's a lot of black, I, you know, but that's okay. I'm just complaining about my outfit. I'm sorry. I love it. It's good. And then my black boots are from Revolve. They're short boots. So, yeah, I just, um call my friend Mary Steven. I showed her my outfit and she thinks this is good because I initially had my gray blazer on with this and she was like, no, it looks like you're trying too hard to be too conservative. So I was like, okay. She was like, this one looks a little bit more youthful. So I don't know. I just, I was going to wear like cream pants with like a top and a blazer, but the blazer was really heavy and it's not that hot, not that cold. Anyways, we're going to go. We're going to Haven for dinner. I'm so excited. Let the girls night commence. I, got a good I never get a espresso. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday. I slept at Mary Stevens last night. I'm in her cute room and I'm just finishing getting ready, going to Oxford Exchange, one of my favorite places in Tampa to get lunch, brunch, going with my family. My brother's never been. All these years I've talked about Oxford Exchange, my brother has never been. So it's me, my mom, my dad, my brother, and my aunt, so I'm excited. Um, and we'll just see where the day takes us. We might go to Hyde Park. We might, Freddie wants like boots for Christmas and I was like, how about I go with you and you pick them out and try them on and everything. So we might do that, we'll see. But I like, I love my outfit today. I'm like fully inspired. This girl on TikTok styled Sarah. I talked about her on Gals on the Go podcast, but she basically wore this exact outfit and I was like copying that because I already had this blazer and a white bodysuit. This blazer is Jerf Avenue bodysuit. I literally got on Amazon. These pants are a goldie. I'm like obsessed. They're so perfect for the holidays. They're not very daytime, but I don't really care. She wore them with like pumps, but daytime. So I'm just gonna wear sneakers. I need to check in her full body mirror if this even looks good. Okay, we approve. It's very like, it's like chill, but then it's like sparkly pants, you know? I just didn't want to wear gold jewelry because I had all this on. I mean, I am wearing gold earrings, but I always am. So that's the fit. We're going to Oxford. I'm so excited.
top part. What does it matter? The top part. You're never going to see the top part. Well, you might. Yeah, would you ever talk? Back home now, I'm going to give Finley just one of his Christmas presents early. Because he's being so cute. Finley! What's this? What's this? I took the tag off. Oh, I guess there's this one, but... Merry Christmas! Oh, he likes it. I guess he just knows. We picked a good one. Good boy, yes, enjoy it. Let's Mr. Stingray. Ooh, Finley. <gasps> Yay! Just lit a fresh balsam candle in here. We usually keep it in our living room, but my mom hasn't been lighting it, so I was like, it's coming in my room because I'm about to wrap presents. Changed into my comfy show me your moo moo little sweater set. My makeup stole and I like threw it up. We had such a fun day. We went to Oxford Exchange, then Hyde Park, and then for Christmas for Freddie, I got him a pair of cowboy boots. Um, I, it was just better for him to try them on and like see which one he liked the best. I ended up making some purchases myself, which was not the plan, but they were things I've been kind of wanting slash needing. So I'm really excited. Hyde Park got some new stores, so that was fun. From this store, Sunny Spencer, Opera C, which I think is funny. It's like resort wear, kind of. They they have different brands. They have Cold Gaia, they have Love Shack Fancy, stuff like that. I love this brand called Hunza G. I have a yellow bathing suit from them that's so comfortable. I wore it all the time this summer. So I got a black one, and then I got a green. And you're probably like, why are you thinking about buying bathing suits right now? Well, one, I'm in Florida this week. I'm not sure. I think I'll be putting on a bathing suit. But two... We um, got an Airbnb for New Year's Eve. I think we talked about this on the podcast. Um, and the cat skills. I'm so excited. And we have a hot tub. The house has a hot tub. So I was like, let me get a fun little festive one piece. And you guys know I love this color, like Kelly Green. And it's the same brand, Hunza G. They're so comfortable. I like the low back. It's kind of fun. I just thought this would be good for, like, since it's a little bit chillier outside. But then I got a black one because I have this exact bikini in yellow and absolutely love it. So... And then we walked into Zimmerman. I've never purchased from there before, but they just opened the store in Tampa. And I've been on the hunt for the perfect brown belt. And oh my gosh, I tried this on on top of the gray blazer that I was wearing today. And it cinched the blazer so well, but it also fit around my pants, like the belt buckles. It's so perfect. I thought it was unique too, because it looks like, you know, your typical belt, but then it has this. It's kind of giving equestrian vibes. And it was um, on sale, 25% off, because it's from the fall collection. And I was like count me in i'm there it was such a lovely experience so that's my little haul from the day i just washed my face i'm about to wrap christmas gifts and i think we're gonna watch a movie in the living room that kind of vibe my twinkly lights are going crazy right now i love you guys so much i hope you guys enjoyed this week in my life in tampa and i'll see you guys next time for our next vlog bye